Hi there, and welcome back to Sot and Brain Hub. My name is Calvin, and today we'll be talking about lumbar puncture. A lumbar puncture, sometimes known as a spinal tap, is a clinical procedure where a needle is inserted between two lumbar bones, called vertebrae, at or below the L3 to L4 interspace to remove a small sample of cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF. This is the fluid that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord and helps to protect them. An examination of the CSF removed during a lumbar puncture will show the quantity and types of white blood cells within it along with the levels of glucose, proteins, and possibly the presence of other things, such as bacteria, fungi, or abnormal cells. For instance, lumbar puncture can be useful in diagnosing conditions such as meningitis, myelitis, encephalitis, and certain types of cancer, such as leukemia. A lumbar puncture may also be undertaken for other reasons. A few common examples include to measure the pressure around the brain and spinal cord to see if it is abnormal, which can be useful in diagnosing cases of normal pressure hydrocephalus. To relieve increased intracranial pressure that can build up due to pathology, or as a route to provide spinal anaesthesia, such as an epidural, or to inject medications such as painkillers, chemotherapies, or antibiotics. Let's now talk about the specific details of the lumbar puncture procedure. Firstly, the patient will be asked to lie on their side, with their chin tucked into their chest and their knees tucked into their abdomen. The skin will then be sanitised with an antiseptic before a local anaesthetic is injected to numb the skin. A needle will then be inserted and progressively pass through the skin, subcutaneous tissue, supraspinous ligament, interspinous ligament, ligamentum flavum, epidural space, dura mater, arachnoid mater, before then finally reaching the subarachnoid space where the CSF can be found. CSF can then be extracted from the subarachnoid space through the needle for analysis. Additionally, any medications that need to be delivered to the patient can also be given through the needle and the pressure around the brain and spinal cord can be measured. After the needle is removed, the site of insertion is covered by a plaster or a dressing. Complications after the procedure are rare, however there is a chance that the patient may develop a headache and in rare cases, injury to the spinal cord. Hopefully now you have a much better idea of the way in which a lumbar puncture is performed and also some of its clinical uses. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and others related to the anatomy of the head and neck and the brain. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.